<laughs> She's been watching Encanto. I caught you. You watching Encanto? <laughs> Hello. So today is Saturday and I am so happy. I'm just happy. I'm happy to be out of the house. I am in such a better mood. I got, I think, a good night's sleep. I think I fell asleep before 11 o'clock, which is pretty damn good for the weekend. But I danced and I cleaned. I, I cleaned by, like, vacuuming the, all of the floors, which is what I usually do on Sundays. But you know what? I had time and I thought, let's do it. So I did. Um, and today I'm up bright and early. I have already gone to Walmart. I had a shit ton of bags. I went through every single one of my bags that were Walmart. I had several, several, several bags of bags and I went through every single one and I picked up all the Walmart bags and I physically returned them and I felt so good. Like my back seat, I mean, there's still like a couple bags back there just in case, but so much better. Like I feel, <laughs> I know that's silly, but like when I do grocery pickup, they put them in bags and I, like, I don't want them. I put them in a, in my crate back there, which is loaded right now, but I don't like, I don't want bags. Cause then they just sit around and you put them in a big bag and then it's like, you don't use them as often. And I use them when I clean the kitty's litter boxes, but it's like, I mean, that's what two, three, five, two, three, five times a week. Like, you know, Anyway, so, <laughs> so I went to Walmart, I returned those bags, I physically went in to go grocery shopping because I didn't have enough, because I went grocery shopping earlier in the week, I didn't have enough to do a grocery pickup, which is perfectly fine with me. I went in there, people stayed away from me, there really wasn't too many people, but I was really glad, um, and uh, Eventually I found what I needed, but I left my cell phone in the car so I couldn't remember what else was on my list and it was driving me nuts and I was like walking down the aisle talking to myself. It's probably why people were staying away from me now that I think about it. But uh, yeah, I just, I was like, I can't remember anything that I needed. So I grabbed what I could remember and I picked up some stuff that I probably didn't need, but I spent so much less than I would have just throwing shit into the cart. Like, I didn't get, I got what I needed, but not what I wanted, which was just extra shit that I didn't really need. So anyway, um, then I went to Family, or Family Dollar, I went to Dollar General because I broke my big bubble water bottle. It was so silly. I had it in the front seat with me. And it was full and it fell. It was sitting in my front seat. I should have buckled it up. It was sitting in my front seat. It fell, it fell on the floor and it cracked the, I don't know what I'm, I'm not turning. I'm going straight. Turn off. Um, and uh, sorry, ADD. As Chris says, squirrel. Um, <laughs> um, but so I, I went back to Dollar Tree to go get a new one because the other one is broken and it's fine to I can still drink out of it and it's fine but the problem is is that it doesn't seal so I can't take it with anyway doesn't matter so I went back to Dollar General to go get that and a couple of things that I needed and wanted and I got an even bigger and an even better cool ass ombre pink water bottle and it was the only one left and it's bigger and it actually has like a handle on it as opposed to the one where it's like you lift it up by the top which could easily break and it did but anyway <laughs> so I did that and I scored because I use the fetch reward app 
to, I mean, it just scans all your receipts and the points add up to actually like, you can give it to a charity, you can join a magazine subscription. There's so many different options and like, I'm not selling it by any means. I'm not, you know, I'm not, uh, they don't pay me to say this, but I use Fetch Rewards and definitely changed since there was when I was living with my parents and there was three different incomes. So like receipts came daily and it was really quick to add up. I think I have 26,000 points, which is $26. So if I want, I can turn it into an Amazon gift card for 26 bucks if I want. It's, it's nice because you're just scanning your receipts. And I'm sure that in the long run, it's like a marketing tactic and all that, but I don't care. It's, I got $26 on an Amazon gift card, like for nothing, for spending what I normally would spend. So anyway, um, I, I got a steal because the family, or the Dollar General, geez, someone had just left their receipts. So there was like a huge pile of receipts. And what they didn't realize too is there's the $5 coupon at the end of it that you can spend during the weekend. So they left that too. So I'm like, hell yeah. So I am going to scan them all in from Fetch. Hello, I'm just passing the fire station. <laughs> so I was really, really craving a BLT after I finished um, shopping at Dollar General and I got some goodies. And maybe I'll show them later. Maybe. Maybe I won't. Um, I don't know if that's entertaining to you guys. I don't know. Anyway, I think I just found out where the firemen have their lunch. And I ordered a BLT from here. Because the fire station is super close. And I can see them walking to the fire station. <sighs> Why don't I come here more often? And for lunch and breakfast, too. I love this restaurant anyway. I would say the name. But it's one of a kind. It's a family owned restaurant and I'll need y'all snooping, especially if I'm going to make this my breakfast and lunch spot. This is where I uh, took my mom for my birthday <laughs> for her, um, for breakfast because I don't know. I like it. I like this place and it's cute and quaint and family owned and they have good food. They have really good coffee too. I have to go pee and I've had to pee for like a few hours and I haven't gone yet so I need to hurry up and get home so I'm gonna pick up my lunch here I would eat here but with with COVID and everything and my mom healing from her surgery and my dad's birthday is coming up on Wednesday I just want to protect myself a little extra um in Walmart, I did not wear a mask. However, there were few shoppers near me. Like, I, I'm i sure people came within six feet of me. I just don't remember it. And I, I wore my mask in the beginning. And then I noticed that, like, I kept going down aisles where I was by myself. So I'm like, mm. which isn't smart. I need to be safer and I need to be smarter about this. Um, I have not gotten it. Knock on car parts. My coworkers have gotten it. I mean, my family members have gotten it. I'm just so grateful that my parents and I and my sister have not gotten it. Um, my sister is not vaccinated, but my parents and I are thrice vaccinated. Um, the first vaccination that came, I did out of respect for my dad. He has leukemia and his immune system can be compromised at any you know, cold, flu, anything like that. I also had the flu shot last year. I felt like shit. Um, I'm pretty sure I had the flu. So this year I decided I'm not going to get the flu shot. Luckily, I, I don't think I've had it. I don't know. I don't remember. But we're in March and I'm trying to be safe and I'm trying to be smart for them. Now that I live on my own, I'm like, you know, if I get the flu, I just won't be around you. Um, and the same with COVID. Like, if I was to catch it, which I do all the testing in the office. Like, I physically hand them the tests. And I have not gotten them. So, I'm not trying to, like, 
press my luck and, you know, ruin that. I'm not trying to do that by any means. I do not want COVID. I don't want the flu either. I don't want, <laughs> I don't want to be sick. Um, so, but especially I don't want my parents to get sick. So I love them and I'm thinking of them and I just want to make sure that they're safe. So I probably will most likely I will COVID test before I see them for my dad's birthday on Wednesday. Um, I'm very, very excited about that. We have plans. Um, we, he's been really wanting to have dinner in an igloo. That's like all the phenomena <laughs> here is like dinner in a nice igloo with twinkle lights and it's really pretty. And I wanted to too. And so, um, my mom, booked us a restaurant a reservation in an igloo and so we're gonna go do, do that for his birthday um and I got him this really cool I'm gonna try and record it because it's just I'm so impressed I thought it was so cool it's I ordered it like being like oh it's expensive for like a little I thought it was like a little race car like a little remote control car no, that thing is huge, and it's the latest model of the Corvettes. My dad is a Corvette guy, and um, I think he's gonna—I <laughs> think he's gonna have so much fun with it because it's like it's big, like it's big. <laughs> um, what can I compare it to? It might be a little. It's probably about the size of my backpack, maybe bigger. I think it might be a little bigger. But anyway. So I want to make sure that I keep them safe. That's my number one priority. <laughs> well, I want to parent my parents. So anyway, I'm going to go in, go get my, my, um, my BLT and it comes with a soup. So a loaded potato soup, which I can't, I cannot wait. I can't wait. I'm so, I'm so hungry. I'm not that hungry, honestly. I think the soup will hold me over and maybe I'll eat the BLT for lunch or vice versa. It doesn't matter. I'm just rambling. But I'm feeling so good today that like I don't really want to stay in. My car says it's 17 degrees. This morning it was 9 degrees when I woke up. But so I don't with the wind it's it's chilly. But um I'm just rambling, you guys. <laughs> I'm just obviously I'm just rambling. I'm just very excited and I'm very grateful for all that I do have and all that I've been given. And I just feel so blessed. I'm coming up on the anniversary of getting my apartment. This will be my first. This is my first apartment I've ever had by myself, living on my own. And I'm not living on my own. <laughs> but um, it's the first one that's, that's mine. And I don't know. Like, it feels... amazing. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. But anyway, um, I'm slowly like every day, I'm feeling like this reminiscent feelings from the past of like, the first time that I went and saw my apartment. And the first time that I drove down the road and the first time like I came in and I could smell fresh paint and like they just had done the carpets and brand new wood and like, I'm just remembering my first times actually ab for it to about to happen because I waited for a while before I finally was able to get in. Like I spotted that place December and I was ready to move in December and unfortunately my apartment wasn't um, available until the end of March, beginning of April. So I was just like holding out. I was, I was so holding out. I wanted this place so badly. I could taste it. I would dream I was in it. I, it was, I just, I wanted it so badly. I was reaching out to the landlord, like not daily, but like weekly and well, sometimes daily. I'm like, how about now? Anything today? Like, pestering the shit out of her I'm sure and I feel bad sorry Nancy um but I just like as it's turning to April's on its way and 
I just can't believe it's, it's, I can't believe it's been a year. It'll be a year next month. And I can't believe my kittens are going to be a year old. <sighs> like, anyway, I have to go get my food. <laughs> it's such a pretty day. I just want to capture it all. <laughs> I just got my, my goods. I got my BLT and my soup. Just in time because they're cleaning up, getting ready to go. So, I'm excited. I'm ready to eat. I'm hungry and I really need to go pee. <laughs> TMI, but I, I need to go pee. And I guess maybe after when I bring that stuff up, I guess I can do a video. I don't know. I just, I think because I finally have like cute makeup on, hair down and brushed and feeling pretty and like feel confident in my body today. I think that's what it is. Like I think that's why I'm feeling good and I want to record because I'm feeling spicy. Not spicy. I'm feeling like cute. Hot shit. <laughs> Are you trying to get my soup? No. No. You ready for a nap, Stella? Yeah. You ready for a nap? I gotta clean all that up first. Because <clears throat> Steph's knocked it all down. Today is March 13th. And this is the first... Oh! You're gonna kill it! We just saw a ladybug. I my windows open. It's still a little chilly, though. <laughs> hey, Google. What's the temperature right now? Okay, supposedly it's 50 degrees. It's a little chilly with the wind. Sorry, I messed my screen. But I'm just waterproofing my boots outside. But it's actually pretty nice out with how beautiful the sky is. I should probably be outside today. But... Do you see this? What is it? Oh, is it a squirrel? Yeah, you see the squirrel? She goes, I want nothing to do with it. <laughs> Ooh, careful. <laughs> Don't scratch the paint now. Because when you turn it, uh -huh. the, the turn signal goes on. Oh, that's cool. That? No, I can't see it from where I am. Oh, when you break, too, the lights go on. Oh, that's cool. See, I'll watch out. I'll make it turn right. See the signal? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Does it do it in the rear, too? Uh-uh. There's no light back there, just the break. <laughs> birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Gary. Happy birthday to you. Come make your wish. Oh, good girls. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Dad, I got it. <laughs> can you shake it again? No. Nope. See it? See it? See but it? I can look cute. <laughs> <laughs> and many more. <laughs> hey! Right,